Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. I know what you're thinking, that's his silhouette. Don't worry. Before we get started though, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays and Saturdays and subscribing is completely free and it's a great way to be a part of my crafty family here on YouTube. And you can also sign up for my newsletter at CorinneBlackstone.com. Today's video, we are going to feature Silhouette Studio, but the cool thing is I'm going to show you how to use it with your Cricut machines. It's really easy and I'm actually really loving their software, so I'm super excited to show you guys how you can combine their awesome software with your Cricut machine. In today's video, we are going to learn about working with fonts and text and all the cool things that you can do over with the Silhouette Studio that you can then take over to your Cricut. So let's get started. Welcome to Silhouette Studio. This is where we are going to work with some text and I'm going to show you guys how to do the text in your Silhouette Studio, but then also take it over to Cricut Design Space in order to cut it. Now it is important that you do note that in order to use Silhouette Studio software with your Cricut Design Space, you will need to have the Silhouette Studio Business Edition. I'll link it down below so you guys can get it. Um, it's anywhere from $99 and sometimes you can get it down to $50 if it's on sale at the website that I got mine from. Um, really reputable company, so be sure to check them out. But I'm going to show you guys how to work with text. I like working with text in Silhouette Studio because it does a lot of things that Cricut Design Space doesn't do. So what we'll do first, I'm going to show you the two little tabs that we're going to work with for this, the main two, and then I'll show you a couple other little things that you can do with this. So the first thing that we're definitely going to use is this A over on the left hand side. That is our text. And then over on the right hand side, you'll see that you have another A over here. And this is the text style panel. So I'm going to open that first just so it's open. And then I'm going to click on my text and we're just going to enter our text. I'm just going to enter my name. Now what you'll see is that you just have your plain text, nothing exciting, it's just the Arial that is selected from default. So what you can do is highlight your text. Over in this text style tab, we can choose a different text, font, whatever you want to call it. So you can see that you have frequently used, recently used, and then you have all your fonts. Now this is done just like you would do with Cricut Design Space when you go in you just have to install the fonts onto your computer and then they'll show up here in your Silhouette Studio. So this Birthday Balloons one is one of my favorites. It's so fun and so cute. So let's just use that one um, with one of them and then I'll open a second text box to show you another text. So we'll do a um, script text here. So let me move it over a little bit. And what you'll do is select your text. You wanna highlight the whole thing and go ahead and highlight it. And then you can change your um, text style over here. So I'll use, um, I'm trying to find one that's kind of easy for you guys to see. But I like, I like Hey Magnolia. That one is really, really pretty. And it's easy to see, so we'll use that one. So what I'm gonna do is I'll make this bigger as well so you can see it. So if you wanna make your text larger, click on it and then you see these squares, just pull those out. That's kind of like how you have those corners in Cricut Design Space. I'll pull it in a little bit more. Made it a little too big. So what I'm gonna show you here is, do you see how like in Cricut Design Space where you can see the cut lines? See how they're all gonna cut out individually? What you'll wanna do is right click and just like in Cricut Design Space, click Weld. That's gonna make it all one piece so that it doesn't have all of those cut lines in it. And now what we'll do, I'll make this one bigger too so you guys can see it better. And it's a little hard to see because they're not filled in. So let's say we wanna fill in our text. Over on the right hand side, there is a little panel that looks like an artist palette and that is your fill panel. So go ahead and open that and then you can select any color that you want to, to fill these. And you'll see that my names are two different pieces, which is kind of cool. So you can fill them with whatever color you so desire. It's totally up to you. Doesn't matter, that's, that's your choice. But another cool thing that they do here in Silhouette is that you can actually use different gradients and things to fill in your words. And that way, what's fun about that is it's great for print and cut. So you can do lots of fun things. And then they also have different patterns that you can use to fill in your words. And it's just really fun way to use print and cut. 
I think this is a cool thing. And then there's lots of advanced options down here as well. You can mirror your patterns. You can change the aspect ratio of your patterns. You can rotate it. You can change the angles and the scale of the pattern. So if you wanted bigger polka dots, you could do that. So let's make these big polka dots. It's really, really, really easy, super fun to do. And using these fonts is so simple. I love the fact that they already are nicely spaced. You don't have to worry about any of that with the Silhouette um, products. So what we'll go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and just change this back to a regular fill. I don't wanna leave that. So I'll just change that back. So now all we have to do is go to File, click File, Save As, and you wanna save it to your hard drive. I'm gonna save this on my desktop and I'm just gonna call it Names. But right here where it says Save As Type, you wanna make sure you click on SVG. And again, you'll need to make sure that you do have the Silhouette Business Edition in order to do this. I'm gonna click OK, and then let's go over to Cricut Design Space so I can show you guys how to load this. Over in Cricut Design Space, you're simply just gonna to need to upload this like you would any SVG. So click Upload, Upload Image, and then click Browse. You'll find where you saved your image or your design, and click on that. Now, Cricut Design Space has been just a tad slow today, so hopefully it will load pretty quickly. There it goes. So now we have our Corinne Blackstones in the little balloon font and then this script font. Click Upload, and in your images, recent uploads, select that Upload and click Insert Images. Now what you'll see is that you have all of these fun little images, but you'll see they're really, really huge. So I'm gonna go ahead and size them down so that we can see them a little bit better. Now I will say occasionally, and it's probably something I'm doing incorrectly, but I, every once in a while the dot in my eye doesn't change the same color. Um, if it doesn't do that, what you can do is go to Color Sync and just drag it up into that. And we're good there. So the one thing that I like to do too when I do this, so what I'm gonna do is take these two and I'm gonna ungroup everything. And what you can do is select whatever section of names you want to keep them in order, and I'm gonna attach them. It's gonna change them to be the same color, which is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. That way you can see it. And then this one here, I'm gonna leave just like this so you guys can see something. So I'm not gonna touch this, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I'll make it bigger so we can see it too. So go ahead and click Make It. Now this is gonna be something that you may run into whether you purchase an SVG or you make one yourself, but you'll see how it's all out of order. We don't want it to do that. We absolutely want it to cut in order just like this one did. So what I'm gonna do is click Cancel and I'm gonna select this name here and I'm going to attach it. What that does is it tells Cricut Design Space to keep it all in the same order. Now a great way to get around that with the um, Silhouette software is you can just weld this in their software because you can't really edit the words in Cricut Design Space anyways. So welding it will just hold it in place and then you don't have to worry about doing anything else with it, just like how this one was. This is a super easy way for you guys to work with the Silhouette software and Cricut Design Space. I hope you guys learned a little bit something about text in the Silhouette Studio and using that with your Cricut Design Space. It's really important to keep in mind that it does take some time to learn how to do this. So we're starting off super slow with super simple things to do with the Silhouette 101 very simple beginner videos. I want you guys to learn how to use the software along with me and we are going to learn so many cool things that you can do with the Silhouette software. Again, keep in mind, in order to use this software with Cricut Design Space, you will need to have the Silhouette Studio Business Edition. You don't need it right away if you just wanna learn how to use it and start kind of figuring out if you like the software and you want to actually use that with your Design Space, you can absolutely just get the free version, which is linked down below as well. Get around to it, play with it, see if you like it, and see what makes you happy. This is a definitely a much more complicated software, but what I like about it is that it offers you a lot more options with designing because this is actually really made more for a designer. If you guys have questions about how to do things with Silhouette, let me know in those comments down below. I wanna know what you wanna know how to do because I wanna make videos that are gonna help you guys be the best crafters that you can be and work to your true potential. So please let me know. I'm happy to help you guys in any way I possibly can learning new software or new techniques for crafting. 
I hope you guys had so much fun learning how to use some text in your Silhouette Studio. Have a great day and happy crafting.